Have you ever heard of the movie Easy Come, Easy Go? It's from way back in 1967, and let me tell you, it's got some wild stuff in it. There's this guy. He's a Navy frogman turned treasure hunter. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, it gets even crazier. He's on a mission to find some sunken treasure, but things don't go exactly as planned. Now, why should you watch this movie? Well, it's got a bit of everything funny moments, shocking twists, and even some sad parts. Trust me, you won't be bored. And hey, keep watching because there are plenty of interesting facts coming your way. Now, let me ask you something. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? There are some real legends in there, so it's a tough choice. And hey, while you're at it, why don't you share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for an adventure with Easy Come, Easy Go. You won't regret it. Embark on an exciting journey with a Navy frogman who stumbles upon a sunken treasure in a tropical paradise. Set against the backdrop of a lively coastal town, the story unfolds with a mix of adventure, humor, and a hint of romance. Plans for a carefree life take a turn when a fortune beneath the sea is discovered. Along the way, our main character encounters a variety of characters, each with their own quirks and motivations. As he navigates the challenges of treasure hunting, unexpected twists and turns keep viewers hooked. Despite not receiving major awards, the film remains a beloved classic, cherished for its entertaining narrative. Join the protagonist in this thrilling adventure, filled with laughter, romance, and the excitement of underwater exploration. Elvis Presley, with aspirations beyond his musical career, once dreamed of stepping into the iconic role of Don Vito Corleone in The Godfather. However, when he sought an audition for the part, his request was met with rejection. Notably, the movie Easy Come. Easy Go had its share of twists before hitting the screens. Paramount initially embarked on a project with the same title, starring surf rock musicians Jan and Dean in August 1965. Unfortunately, production was abruptly halted after a serious accident during a train wreck scene involving Jan Barry and 13 others. Two years later, the studio repurposed the title for Elvis Presley's movie, but with an entirely different plot. In an interesting turn, a co-star from Elvis' previous film, Paradise Hawaiian Style, was offered a role in Easy Come, Easy Go. However, in a 1998 interview, she revealed turning down the offer, citing Tom Parker, Elvis' manager, as one of the reasons for her decision. These behind-the-scenes snippets provide a glimpse into the complexities and decisions surrounding the making of Easy Come, Easy Go, adding layers to the story beyond the screen. On the ship U.S.'s gallant, a naval lieutenant adorned with three decorations, including the Coast Guard Silver Life-Saving Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, and the Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, encounters an unexpected twist. The scene unfolds with a yoga session, believed to be inserted at the behest of Colonel Tom Parker, poking fun at his interest in yoga. The soundtrack of this film was released on a 7EP and sold less than 30,000 copies, making it the worst-selling record Elvis ever released for RCA Victor. Interestingly, Elvis Presley auditioned for a spot on Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts in April of 1955, but was turned down. Many rock singers mimicked his singing style early in their careers before adopting their own style. Conway Twitty was the most successful in that area, with hit recordings like It's Only Make Believe and Lonely Blue Boy. Charlie Rich's initial hit, Lonely Weekend, followed a similar pattern long before he was known as the Silver Fox of country music. Similarly, Johnny Rivers' first recordings and Buddy Holly's That'll Be The Day sounded like Elvis behind the mic. There were also one-hit wonders like Ral Donner, who had a million seller with you don't know what you got until you lose it, and Terry Stafford's successful cover of Elvis Suspicion. Elvis Presley, a well-known figure in the music and film world, played a significant role in creating the soundtrack for You'll Be Gone Back in 1965. This song featured as the B-side to the popular Do The Clam from the film Girl Happy, showcased Elvis's talent not just as a performer, but also as a songwriter as he co-wrote the lyrics. Elvis also contributed to the writing of Heartbreak Hotel, solidifying his impact on the music scene. His influence continues to be felt, and he was even honored with induction into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in 2001 for his achievements in gospel music. These instances highlight Elvis Presley's ability to excel in different musical genres, leaving a lasting legacy that resonates with fans. The title song of the movie Easy Come, Easy Go is distinct from another song with the same title sung by Mama Cass Elliot and later popularized by Bobby Sherman in 1970. 
George Barris constructed the mongrel tee specifically for the movie, featuring surfboards and typical 60s accessories like vinyl and shag upholstery. Elvis Presley, a fan of several television shows, notably enjoyed the Jeffersons' Good Times, Happy Days, and Flip. His admiration for these programs reflects his personal taste in entertainment. In the late 1960s, there was a significant change in the type of music featured in the performances of a well-known entertainer. Unlike his previous work, the music accompanying his latest film was notably different, as it did not include any slow songs. This shift marked a departure from his usual style. Starting out in the entertainment industry in the mid-1950s, he quickly gained fame after a groundbreaking performance in 1956. This performance, which was unseen for many years, finally surfaced online in 2010, allowing fans to relive the moment when he captured the audience's attention with his energetic songs. Throughout his career, he was offered roles in a variety of films across different genres. These roles ranged from dramatic to comedic, showcasing his ability to adapt to different characters and stories. His extensive filmography and the evolution of his performances demonstrate his versatility as an artist. From his early days on a popular TV show to the diverse film offers he received over the years, his impact on the entertainment industry remains undeniable. Considered one of Roger Ebert's least liked movies, this film has made it onto Ebert's infamous most hated list. Despite its not so great reception, the movie is significant in Hollywood history. It also marks the final appearance of the respected Frank McHugh, adding a touching element to the production. While making this film, the legendary Jackie Chan surprised everyone by visiting the Paramount studio lot and meeting none other than Elvis himself. This unexpected meeting between these two famous figures adds an interesting layer to the film's backstory. These extraordinary events, Frank McHugh's farewell, and the surprise meeting between Jackie Chan and Elvis all contribute to the unique status of this film in the world of cinema. It's not just another forgettable movie, but a cinematic anomaly shaped by the convergence of different personalities and notable events. In the bigger picture, Easy Come, Easy Go serves as a reminder of the unpredictability and charm that can happen during filmmaking. As the story of this peculiar movie comes to an end, one can't help but be amazed at the unexpected twists and turns both on and off screen. That's the magic of cinema, and Easy Come, Easy Go is a great example of how surprises can make a lasting impression on the silver screen. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden age, a collaboration between two legends captivated audiences and left a lasting impression on the silver screen. Their final venture together, a blend of music, humor, and camaraderie, became a memorable chapter in cinematic history. As the credits rolled on their last project, it marked the end of an era, signaling a shift in the industry. Little did viewers realize that this would be the last time they'd witness such magic on screen. Looking back, it's clear that this collaboration captured the essence of a bygone era, where stars and seasoned actors shared the limelight. The movie's enduring popularity speaks volumes about the impact of their partnership. It continues to resonate with audiences worldwide, reminding us of the talent and entertainment that define that era. This narrative serves as a reminder of the magic created when two legends converged on the big screen. Their legacy lives on in the hearts of film enthusiasts immortalized by their timeless masterpiece. In 1967, Easy Come, Easy Go starred character actor Frank McHugh as Captain Jack, who also appeared in the 1947 film of the same name. Additionally, Pat Harrington Jr., known for his role in the movie, was a father of four children, a son, D. Patrick Harrington, working as an advertising executive, another son, Michael Harrington, pursuing acting, a daughter named Tressa Harrington, who was a ballerina with credits at New York's Joffrey Ballet, and Terry Harrington, a pianist and composer. The film's cast and crew brought diverse talents and backgrounds to the project, creating an engaging cinematic experience. In a surprising turn of events, one tragic fact about the film Easy Come, Easy Go is that despite being a comedy, it marked the end of Elvis Presley's successful run of musical comedies in the 1960s. Following this movie, Presley shifted towards more serious roles, marking a significant change in his career trajectory. Despite its comedic nature, Easy Come, Easy Go harbors a sorrowful undertone with this historical context in mind. The transition away from the genre that had defined Presley's cinematic presence for years marked a poignant moment in his career. The shift in direction for Presley after Easy Come, Easy Go left a lasting impact on his filmography and on the perception of his acting abilities. In a surprising turn of events during the filming, one of the supporting actors sadly passed away, casting a shadow over the entire production. 
This unforeseen tragedy affected everyone involved in the making of the movie. Despite this setback, the film managed to capture the audience's attention with its mix of humor and adventure. It follows the story of a former Navy diver on a treasure hunt in the Florida Keys, encountering obstacles and quirky characters that lead to comedic mishaps and unexpected twists. Starring Elvis Presley, the lead role showcases his charismatic presence and musical talents. Though not considered one of his most famous films, it remains a noteworthy addition to Presley's filmography. Directed by John Rich, the movie received mixed reviews upon its release. While some praised its lighthearted humor and catchy soundtrack, others criticized its predictable plot and lack of depth. Despite its shortcomings, the film holds a place in cinematic history as a reflection of Presley's lasting popularity and the charm of 1960s musical comedies. In summary, the unexpected passing of a supporting actor during filming added a somber note to the production, but the movie still managed to captivate audiences with its blend of humor and adventure. Starring Elvis Presley, it remains a notable entry in his film career. Directed by John Rich, the film received mixed reviews, but it stands as a testament to Presley's enduring popularity and the appeal of 1960s musical comedies.